Hello, this is Jamerica5288, and I have had this pumpkin since October. It's not rotten, but, you know, because it's becoming, it's coming up on, like, what, six, seven months, I'm going to cut it open, and I'm going to bake it, and I'm going to puree it and put it in the freezer because the one that was before this, I had two. The other one rotted. So, I'm not going to push my luck any longer. Let me go wash it off first, just a sec. So here we have a wet pumpkin. Let me, um, eh, we can leave the light on, off. Conserve energy. So I know, I know, I know. I'm not practicing knife safety, but I'm doing the best I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm cutting this pumpkin open and I am going to save the seeds because the pumpkins that are in the yard right now are from one of its sisters, one of the store-bought pumpkins that I bought with this batch. So if you buy a pumpkin at the supermarket, save the seeds, you can plant them and have your own pumpkin patch if you have the room in your yard and if you like pumpkins. Now I use pumpkin because it's good for you. And this was just a pumpkin that people, you know, look at it, nothing is wrong with this pumpkin, nothing. Look at it, look at the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I have a, a, a seed tray here from the other pumpkin. I didn't throw the seeds out from that one either. And because these have that slime on them, you know, the straw, you know, the stringy stuff, this stuff, I'm gonna put them on a plate, look at that. They were growing in the pumpkin. This is ridiculous, Jamarica. You held on to it too long. The seeds were growing in the pumpkin. Some of the seeds sprouted in the pumpkin. Yeah, this is going too far, girl. Too far. Let me get a plate. So we're going to harvest the seeds. Not the one that sprouted. That's Isn't that weird? That is a sprouted seed. I wonder. Maybe I can plant that. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna see if that'll, that'll work. <laughs> I'm just curious, and here's another sprouted seed. You know, girl, you gone too far. They were growing in the pumpkin. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna get all this stuff out. I don't see any rot, I just see seeds that are sprouting in the pumpkin. I'm gonna take these seeds out, the ones that didn't sprout. And the way you check to see if a seed is viable or not is you put it in water and if it, if it can, remains at the top of the water, if you soak it, that means the seed is no good. Last time, a couple of months ago, I took these the seeds out of a pumpkin just like this. Didn't have any sprouts in it though. And the seeds are in the yard now and they have flowers and they're growing. <laughs> All of them grew. So I put two seeds each in, each in the pod because I wasn't sure if the pumpkin seeds were going to be any good. Well, they all were. I think maybe one or two didn't germinate. That was a better germination rate than some of the seed packets that I got. Not to say the seed packets aren't great, but the germination rate was high. High. So what I do is I just take these seeds out, right, and I'm going to put them out in the sun and dry them. Hopefully my birds don't get to them. I put the pumpkin out, the rotten one out for them to eat. I cut off the rotten pot part, of course. And I threw it out in the yard to eat. You know who was eating it? My chihuahua. The birds pecked at it like for a few seconds and then they just walked away. The chihuahua was, was out there eating it. I don't know. It, pumpkin is good for dogs too. If they, have, um, if they have an upset stomach and they have diarrhea, feed them pumpkin and it'll settle their stomach and it'll cut the diarrhea. It like cleans it all out. So that's just an old, old cure for dogs with a bad stomach. I learned that from one of my, um, one of the ladies who watch the dogs. I tend to take them to a kennel and if, if, if the dog at her farm gets sick, that's what she feeds them until the diarrhea goes away. I'm sure she doesn't want to clean up diarrhea, so she learned quick, fast, and in a hurry how to cure that to stop it pumpkin so I'm pulling all these seeds out right I think I got most of them out of here 
just checking, pulling some of this, some of this stringy stuff out. Okay, so this one is done. To get it out of the way, I'm just gonna cut it and I'll put it in this pan right here. And it's haphazard because all I'm doing is trying to get this soft so that I can scoop it out and put it and puree it and put it in a plastic bag. Still got seeds in here. See how many seeds we get out of this bag, huh? All right, so I'm cutting it. So pumpkin is full of fiber, full of fiber. It's good for you. I put it in my cake mix instead of using um, eggs and oil. I put pumpkin in there. And it's just as moist and probably better way, well, I know it's way better for you, but it's just as moist as it would be had I put had I put oil in it. I don't think I've had a cake with oil in it that I made in a long time. I always use pumpkin. So this is one of my staples. That's why, well, this is just an experiment to see how long I could keep this pumpkin in the house. And I bought it in October. So it's a long time. Fourth month, April, so six months. I wouldn't push it past six months though. Looked like it was gonna go bad real soon, especially when these this this stuff was happening on the inside. <laughs> Germinated seeds on the inside of the pumpkin. That's that's not a good sign. <laughs> so I don't like wasting. And I knew my time was limited based on what happened with the other one. So I don't want to feed these this to the chickens too. Look at all of these seeds. I mean, there's so many seeds. So many. We pay for stuff that we can do ourselves. Most people just trash. Let me get these out of here. These are sprouts. Most people just trash the seeds. We, when we were kids, we used to make them out of pumpkin seeds. They weren't very good. They're not as juicy as the ones that you buy in the packets. But most people, when they when they get the pumpkins for Halloween, they they carve them and then they toss them, toss them and toss toss the seeds out, toss the pumpkin out. And how, I think they were like six to seven dollars last year. I was like, uh uh, I bought them, but I had intentions of, har of harvesting seeds. Because when I was running or walking, you know, a downtown on and not downtown Austin, near the airport in Austin, I saw pumpkins all over in the field. They grow wild here in Texas. I was like, oh no, no, I'm not buying that. Not not something that'll grow wild in Texas. I'm not paying for it. No water, no nothing. Texas is dry, and those pumpkins were just springing up all over the place on the airport grounds. So. Nope, I'll buy them, but I ain't gonna keep buying them because I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna buy them, but I'm gonna have 150 to 200 seeds on top of it so I can grow one to 200, 200 plants from this one pumpkin. So just putting this in here. And we're gonna keep on going. I might sprout these and sell them. Sell pumpkin seed to pumpkin plants. I think people, there might be a market for that. Especially when they'll grow here. That's a, that, as long as the person takes care of it, waters it. I don't even think it needs water because we didn't water out there in those fields. At, at the airport, we didn't water that. They just they were just growing wild. Same thing happens in Jamaica. Like when we were walking to the beach and um, we just walked through a field and pumpkins would be all over and everybody would be eyeballing the pumpkin because it was on like property that nobody owned, right? So we wait and we wait and we said, okay, today might be the day that the pumpkin ready, right? Man, you go back out to that field, somebody got to the pumpkin before you. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I was so disappointed. I said, somebody got it. Somebody plucked it. They must have knew everybody was eyeballing it. Maybe we should have picked it. Well, we saw it, but I didn't think it was ready. So I was like, oh, man, well, we just wait until it's ready. It's not ready yet. Everybody's waiting until it's ready. Somebody apparently said, I ain't waiting. I'm going to let it, I'm going to harvest it, and I'm going to use it as it is. 
Man, I was mad. I didn't know who did it. Felt like I had been robbed, but it didn't. The pumpkin didn't belong to anybody. It was a community pumpkin. <laughs> mad about a community pumpkin. <laughs> Man, I had my mouth all set, and I knew what I was gonna do. It. I was gonna make some fish tea. Fish tea is just um, when you stew the fish, you, you you boil the fish in a bunch of water. I'll do it for you guys. But it's super good, and you use pumpkin for it. So I was like, ah, man. No, this is not fair. Who did that? I've been robbed. Somebody called the police. So, anyway, enough of my tea and my fish tea and my pumpkin drama. I had to buy my own pumpkin. These, these are a different kind of pumpkin. The ones that I saw in Jamaica, they were green. They were green and they were smaller. They're different kinds. This is just as good. They're all, they, I mean, they don't all taste the same, but pumpkin is a pumpkin. Pumpkin is, has a bunch of fiber in it. It's just good for you in general. Come on, knife. Don't give me the blues. Come on. All right. So, I'm trying to get all this in here. I don't care if how they get in here as long as I can get them all in this pan because all I need them to do is get soft. That's it. I don't need them to be pretty. I just need them to cook together as a family. Let me see. Put that one there. I got the hiccups. Oh, shoot. Got to be more careful, girl. All right, turn that one there, stick that one there. Uh-oh, you're too high. I'm too high. Too high. My dog's coming in here wondering what the heck am I doing. No, she isn't. She wants to go get something to eat. She don't care about me. <laughs> she just wants something to eat. <laughs> Do you, Philomena? Uh, don't don't protect. she and then she throws her kibble on the floor she does it all the time and I come down here and find little piles of dog food all over the floor I just swept she's just making a mess on purpose to keep me working working like a dog all right and she's the dog I'm not the dog all right here we go so I got my oven set to uh oh I don't get out I got my oven that should have been set to 350. It'll be there in a minute. And I'm gonna put these pumpkins in the oven. I'm gonna cover them with some foil for about an hour. Okay? That's my rice alarm. Sorry. I'll see you in a second. I'm gonna put them in the oven and I'm gonna bring them out when they're done. 350 for about an hour, covered with foil. See you in a, see you in a few seconds. For me, it's gonna be over an hour. So while I'm waiting, I got one of the trays that I use for seedlings and I'm taking the seeds off of the pulp. See the pulp of the pumpkin? And I'm gonna dry them out outside. Look at this, another one sprouted. These seeds are viable for sure. That's the fourth seeds I've, I've, I've found. Here's another one. Yeah. Well, I know they're viable because I have a yard full of uh, a pumpkin patch full of these, this, this, particular pumpkin batch <laughs> that's what i'm growing outside and i didn't use a lot of seeds i have a bag full of them so i know they'll grow and i know they produce flowers because there's flowers on the ones outside i'll show you in just a second same seeds save your seeds don't let nobody ever tell you that you know it ain't gonna work try it the seeds work. Not everything is sprayed out there. Not everything. They're letting us believe that we can't grow nothing. Yes, you can. So I'm going to take these outside. And I'm going to show you the pumpkin patch. I'm going to show you the pumpkin patch. As soon as I go around my dogs. Just a second. <laughs> Put the pumpkin seeds out here in the sun to dry naturally. Nothing else is, is required. Let's walk out here to the pumpkin patch. Show you my pumpkin patch from those seeds from the supermarket. I ain't spent a dime. All I used was time. So I don't have any pumpkins yet. Maybe I do. I don't know. The flowers are wilting, so we'll see. 
It's a small pumpkin patch, but here it is. That's a pumpkin patch from those seeds, those very same seeds. And I got plenty of flowers. Look at those blooms. Look at that. They're all over the place. So I didn't plant very many because pumpkins, man. I guess I could put some more over there, over there on that fence line. We don't want to cut that anyway, so maybe I will put some over. What am I going to do with all them pumpkins? I guess I could sell them, huh? Sell them for less than the supermarket. <laughs> Go into competition with them. Uh, that's a good idea. Maybe I will pump, plant some more pumpkins. That's a, that's a wonderful idea, don't you think? So we're going to put that um, pumpkin in there. Chico, come on. Stop peeing on my plants, man. I guess they need the nitrogen, but I don't like it. Um... So I'm gonna go in there. The oven should be set, um, ready to. I should be ready to put it in there in a second. I'll pick these up later on this evening. I got a couple more hours of sun. They should be dried out by then. And then I'll bring them in the house and put them in a paper bag if they're dry. I might leave them out open. Now I'm not gonna leave them out overnight because then they'll get some dew on them. So I'll take them out in at dark when it gets dark. So I'll see you when I pull the pumpkin out of the oven because we're going to puree it we're going to put it in freezer bags and we're going to put it in the freezer for storage just a sec hello it's me again so it's time to go on i've been out in the yard all day so i need to put my gloves on there we go all right so we have baked these we have baked these for a while and i'm trying to do it with a spoon so, and that's not working we need to get this skin off so That's what I'm doing. I'm peeling the pumpkin. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here because these things are quite thick. Um, maybe just a little bit of filtered water, not, not a lot. There we go. It's been quite a day, quite a day, full of surprises. But you'll see. I, I put some videos out, but they're, they, they'll be out maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I just have to edit them, make sure that they are fit for your gentle eyes. <laughs> you have to edit some stuff out like dogs barking, chickens crowing, and people playing loud music. That doesn't happen much around here. Well, on the weekends, every now and then they have a party. Um, still got seeds in here. Make sure I don't get any of those in my mixed, in my mix. Cut that out. We don't want any of that. I'm just gonna chop these up rustically. Uh oh, whoa, I, oh no. Be careful, Jamerica, be careful. There's no rush, we're not in a race. I had to turn the air on, I was so hot. You know, and I was trying to just bear it, right? So I said, well, I'll turn it to 81. 81 is good, right? Well, it was, and I started sweating. I said, oh, my God. Most of the time, I was outside, so I turned it off completely. When I came back in here, it was hot, 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 hot. So I had to turn the air back on. Turned it to 80, I think, 80 or 79. Then I get super cold. I, I mean, I don't know what the happy medium is for me. And, and then, you know, I'm the one who's always cold or extremely hot and complaining. Everybody else seems all right. I remember at work, we used to fight over the thermostat. This one lady, she was always hot. And me and my friend, she and I were always cold. So, now I know how she feels. Now I'm hot. But it's my fault, right? I'm here by myself most of the time during the day. So, well, the dogs are here. They're, they, can't, they can't see anything. But um, I can't get the thermostat right while I'm here. So, I fixed it. At nighttime, I fixed it. I'm probably going to have to turn it off because nighttime, the temperature drops anyway. You don't really need the air on. But 
you know, I try to be comfortable. I'm spending more and more time outside. This gardening thing, I tell you, it gets you outside. Definitely. It makes you go outside. I remember there was times during the winter, I was like, oh my gosh, this house was so, so um, full of plants. It was just, my friends, they were saying, you know, you gotta get rid of some of this stuff. I gave a lot of them away. A lot. People would come over and say, hey, take some aloe vera with you. Hey, take a couple of plants with you. So now I'm starting to transfer them to the front of the house so that we can go out there and sell them. Hopefully this weekend it doesn't rain. Well, I, I, I want the rain. I just want it to rain at night so the daytime I can have a plant sale. Get rid of all of those plants. Sell them off to somebody who wants them or needs them. You know, they clean the air and everything, but when you have too many, it becomes a burden. I can take care of them better outside because I just water them down with the hose. Inside, I have to get a pitcher and I have to go back and forth and back and forth, and it is a task. And it makes your house look really cluttered. Um, so it looks more like a... a um, a greenhouse in the house <laughs> so the air is super clean though <laughs> and another thing about plants that they don't tell you about is yeah it cleans the air and all that stuff but it makes your house damp I do not like a damp house I have uh, dehumidifiers in here to stop that I have one going right now I do not like a damp house so <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> getting this skin off. And the whole reason for baking them is to um, be able to peel them like this easier. There's a fly in here. I don't know why these flies come in here. You know, they come in here and then they're like waiting at the door trying to beg in to get out, right? Or they go to the window and they die in the window. I'm like, why did you, why did you come in here? Curious. Uh, take this. I need to take some of this fuzz off. Take the fuzz off. Nobody wants that. You see that? Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that in their food. Okay, cut this up. Okay, I think I have enough for this batch. I'm gonna put these to the side. I still have a half of half of a um of a um pumpkin, and I told you I was gonna put some water in it. I dropped my lid on the floor. I, I gotta get some more cannon jars. I'll put some water in there just to get things going. Shut that down like that. And this thing, you know, I got this fancy schmancy. Let me turn this off and then turn it back on and see if it takes. Sometimes it, and it took, well, like, okay, here it is. There's a sensor on this Vitamix, the new ones, and sometimes it doesn't sense it. They give you this too.
is done. I have a spoon here, I can check it. Get these debris off my hand first. Okay, let's see. Yep, perfect. Just like the can. Which reminds me, maybe I should can these, but not tonight. Not tonight, I'm too tired. Y'all see them? No, y'all can't see me. I'm a mystery woman. So I have some freezer bags here. Man, I need a bigger one. I got the small ones here. Let me see if I can find the big ones. I don't want to do a million of them. Here they are. Gallon size. So here's a clear freezer of bags. Get it straight, girl. Bags. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I do because I want this to be the equivalent of what's in the can. So, in the can, they have... Let's see. 15 ounces. Right? So, that's what I want in each bag. I have 15 ounces because I use these for my cakes. So, I want 15 ounces per bag. So, this bag is too big. And let's see if we can get it in these little ones. Let me get my little scale out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop. I'm going to show you one. I'm going to scoop 15 ounces into this bag, just under a pound. And zero it out. Turn it to ounces. And start scooping it in. Make sure the spoon is clean. I need a bigger spoon. This is a, this can become annoying. <laughs> um, bigger spoon. This one, you want to come, out, come out, come out, wherever you are, wherever you are. Remember hide and seek? I wonder if they play that as a child now. I wonder if they know about the pleasures of hide and go seek. Or there was another one we used to play called Roundup which means that when you catch somebody, they have to help you find everybody else. So the first person who gets caught or found during Roundup has to, is gonna be the next one that's gonna have to go and go try to find people. But the last person, you know, it's the hardest person to find. Sometimes you can never find people. We used to play Roundup and I think some of my cousins must have fell asleep because we didn't see them for like an hour or two. They'd be like, well, you didn't come look for me. Well, where did you go? We couldn't find you. So this thing is 15 ounces. So I have 15. Yeah, 15.6. That's good enough for government work, right? That's good enough. <laughs> Let me take some out. I got to be nice about it. I got to do exactly, exactly what the can has. That's 4.14.9. Okay, 15.1. Perfect! That's one down. Get all the air out of there. I'll wipe these down later. Get all the air out and seal it. That's one 15-pound bag, which is the equivalent of this, and these are expensive now. If you buy pureed pumpkin, Jesus Christ, they are out of control. This little can right now, I think is two to three dollars. So the pumpkin just cost me five. Let me see how many bags I can get. I'll bring you back when I'm at the last one and I'll tell you how many bags I have. I still have to um, puree some more of this and I'll tell you exactly how many bags I got from that pumpkin, a uh, pumpkin puree, okay? So the grand reveal, right? I have seven bags of pumpkin puree from the one pumpkin that are equivalent to seven of these. So seven times what? These are two to three dollars, sometimes more, <laughs> depending on where you are. Pumpkin puree is three, let's say it's three dollars, okay? So seven times three is twenty-one dollars. It would have cost me twenty-one dollars had I used this versus buying a five to six dollar pumpkin that I did the work myself. So it's worth it and I'm growing them. So the next ones will be free. So I won't have to spend five to six dollars and that's it.
I got all of those seeds, which are right here. They're drying out, right? And that's just from the one pumpkin. I have pumpkins for the whole neighborhood. So I'm gonna dry out my seeds and I'm gonna, maybe I'll germinate a couple more because there's no way, I mean, my whole yard couldn't accommodate this, this much pumpkin, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we are. I have all this pumpkin puree, I have the seeds, and I can plant them in the yard versus having to buy a bunch of these and just having to buy can after can after can. By the way, you can can this also. And I'm gonna do that next time once those pumpkins come around and I guess in October, but I have enough pumpkin for a long time. So this is Jamerica 5288. I'm so glad that you all are with me. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Make your own pumpkin puree. Bye.